right, here we are with some uh, dry wood termites uh, here in the Heights, which is common. It's uh, just about every house ends up with these guys. And then I don't know if you can see this very clearly here. Here's one of the swarmers. It's swarm season. Um, you can see that uh, the wings are longer than the body, but it's time for the dry wood termites to reproduce. It's 90 degrees or above, and that's when they start to re reproduce. And you can see some other small ants. These are little rover ants living in the old termite damage, uh, which is common. And uh, we also have some carpenter ants running around here somewhere, which uh, is also common for them to live around uh, old termite damage. Uh, they'll move in after the other termites have finished off what they're eating on. And uh, we're doing a localized spot treatment on this today. The people don't want to do a tent fumigation, uh, which is understandable. Uh, we've done stop spot treatments a couple times through the years at this home and it's been successful. So uh, you can always tell the uh, drywood termites by the little pellets that they have. Um, it looks kind of like uh, salt and pepper, sometimes, sometimes like a grainy sand, depending on what they're eating on. Uh, those are the little pellets right there that you'll notice dropping out of holes on the inside. That's what you notice coming through on the inside. So um, this is uh, dry wood termites, um, common problem. Deal with it all the time. Luckily, they don't do a lot of damage like subterranean termites, but uh, they are a respectable wood destroying insect. Um, they'll do more damage by opening up the wood and let moisture running into it than their actual consumption, but um, uh, wood rot is every bit as bad of, uh, of it, as any wood destroying insect, so uh, combined between the two of them, wood rot and the termites, um, you end up with a lot of damage.